Today is 15th of October 2023. My name is Subhan and I am going to conduct your ALLT speaking module mock test. So as you know that uh, in ALLT speaking module, we have four parts. The first one is introduction, second one is presentation, third one is essay, and the last one is picture description. Before they, uh, we have some security checks. So can you show me your passport, please? Or ID? Password. Yeah, OK. Like this. OK, that's fine. Uh, well, show me your room in 360 angle. Yeah, sure. All right, that's fine. OK, now we will start uh, from the first part, introduction. So can you tell me your full name? Yes, my full name is Muhammad Daud Tariq. Muhammad Daud. Okay, do you have any nickname? No. Okay, fine. So, where are you from? I am from Faisalabad, Pakistan. Okay. What is your qualification? Yeah, I have done my bachelor's in computer science. Okay, from which university you have done your yeah. bachelor in computer science? Yeah, I have done my bachelor's in from University of Faisalabad. Okay, that's fine. What do you do? Uh, currently, uh, currently, I am doing job in Lahore as a social media manager. And now I'm, I have already applied in uh, UK universities for my master's. Okay, that's fine. So in a social media manager, what are your duties? Yeah, basically, my duty is to maintain the social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and manage the posts and different form of my company. All right, that's fine. What do you do in your free time? Yeah, usually I do uh, I do watch cricket uh, because I really uh, I also play cricket in my free time and also I watch cricket. Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, <clears throat> which course you have selected to study in UK? Yeah, I, I selected a master's in digital marketing. That's fine. What will be the duration of this course? Yeah, the course duration will be one year. Okay. Uh, which university you have selected to study in UK? Yeah, I have applied three universities. First, BBP University. Second, University of Chester. Third is uh, University of London. Okay, that's fine. What is the reason that you choose these universities in UK? Basically, I choose these universities because the initial deposit and the fees is very economical for international students. So also universities are also very good. That's okay. why I choose these. Okay, that's fine. Well, what are your future plans? Yeah. My future plan is that first I will go for my master's in UK. Then after completing my master's, I will come back here in, in my country and will serve there. All right, that's fine. Well, why you choose UK as your study destination? Yeah, UK, why I choose? Because I think UK is very top class, top rank universities there and also first i really like these universities it has only one year master but if you say if you see the other countries there will be two years or three years masters so it's very good for me for one, completing my one year master there and come come back and serve my country all right that's fine thank you now we will move to the second part of ellt speaking module which is presentation so you know that the duration of this presentation will be three to five minutes. The minimum duration yes. will be three minutes and the maximum duration will be five minutes. So you can start yes. your presentation now. And in the start of your presentation, you have to say, now I will begin my presentation. The topic of my presentation is X, Y, Z. And in the end, you have to say, thank you for your attention. So you can start your presentation now. Okay, I will begin my presentation. So my presentation topic is the impression of freedom of expression and its limit. So I will talk about why it's important of freedom of freedom of speech. So some people think some people think that freedom of speech is okay is not okay because it's uh, it's like uh, it's like people can violate something of can violate or uh, can violate some things and also it caused them are damaged in society 
because if uh, if for example some uh, some in some countries minorities in, in some countries people say that the uh, people say against the minority groups and it lead to the damage and it it increase crimes so it can cause the society damage and uh, and not safe for the country also and in the other hand some people think that there should not be limit in the freedom of speech because if you cannot speak free, freely but you cannot free uh, speak freely it it cause them you cannot save the good ideas and progress of their country if you speak if you speak better and freely then it will it will clear that the you are doing right things for example in our countries government should sens censors the uh, censor the other parties other parties views because of they are not see the uh, see the freely or freely uh, fr freely talk about them and against their things and uh, for example uh, in in the last thing i can say that uh, some some both things happen manageably because if someone wants to speak uh, freely then it should be that i think it's important it, can I start now? Yes. Okay. So I think it's important to protect freedom of speech because uh, balance between freedom of speech and the hate violence. And if we manage these things, then it will help. Like free, like free speech should be protected as long as it does not hurt people. But hate speech, but hate speech called violence should be checked out, checked out by the law. So as a supporter, as a person in a democracy or something like that, both things it manage equally. And I think it's the end of the, my presentation. All right, thank you. <laughs> uh, now we will move towards your third part of your speaking module, uh, that is yeah. essay. So my first question is that, uh, from which source you have written your essay? Yeah, I write. I write this essay from my own experience, and I see some search, uh, see my articles, and where I write this. Okay, so if we provided you more time for your essay, so what are the things you will add to your essay? Um, I think I already done equally. I think I will not write more. Okay, that's fine. Well, you have written a word in your essay, distraction. What is the meaning of distraction? Basically, distraction mean uh, you like if you are working something and you distract from there and you are doing other thing, you distract from that. That was your. Okay, that's fine. Well, you have written a sentence. The mobile phones have become a necessity in the modern day and age, and students are also not an exception can you explain this sentence yeah it basically means that now our days it's a day for young uh, young boys in the in this era, in this era that mobile phone is very important for the for young age okay uh that's fine well <clears throat> let me ask another question from your essay We have to admit that mobile phones allow students to access the relevant research material in no time, and they can extract the required information and resources through the mobile phones. Explain this sentence. Yeah, sure. So basically, it's mean that the students have, have the mobile phones and they search what they want in their studies. Like if they search any presentation or any topic, they uh, suddenly for, uh, type on the mobile phone and they get the res exact result in no time. Okay, that's fine. Well, I have another question from your essay. What is the meaning of assist? Assist means mean help someone. Okay. Let me ask another question. What is the meaning of immoral? Immoral means inappropriate things. Okay. What is the meaning of impressionable? Impressionable? Yes. Um, impressionable. Okay. Um, like, 
lack of influence okay what is the meaning of cyber bullying explain this word yeah, cyber, yeah cyber bullying means a person who is threatening to someone by sending messages or text threatening messages okay something uh, like that that's fine okay <clears throat> can you summarize your essay yeah sure basically i uh, uh, mobile phones are nowadays re uh, really important for the young boys for their search and for their study and also we should check uh, check out the young boys how they use in a good way not in the wrong way we should balance each things and parents should uh, parents should focus on their children to how they manage their mobile phones all right that's fine i have a question from your essay can you enlist yes. the disadvantages of using mobile phone by students sorry can you enlist the disadvantages of using mobile phone by students yeah disadvantage yeah boys uh, usually focusing uh, sometimes boys not focusing on their studies they focus on their like games or something like movies they watch and something they they distract them from studying and also also their health factor is very important i'll be using more mobile it will affect your health or Ill, uh, and also your men mental mental physiques and it will distract you okay uh, that's fine well thank you now <clears throat> we will move towards the last part of elt speaking module it is picture description so let yes. me share a picture on your screen you will have 15 yes. seconds after that you will have a discussion over it okay okay wait for us so this is the picture for you today okay now clear yes it's clear okay so you have 15 seconds you take your time after that you have to start your description okay okay you can start now okay so i can see in this picture this picture looks really beautiful and i i, I can also see there is a two boy sitting in the car and one wear glasses and the second one is seeing behind i think they there is someone who is behind the car and the second person who who is sitting on the uh, sitting on the left side they see they are seeing some ghost there i think and also the first one don't know there is a ghost behind it and they are they are they are smiling and the sun roof is also open on in the car okay that's fine so that's all yeah that's it okay i have some question from your picture well uh <clears throat> do you like traveling yeah i really like traveling okay so which places do you want to travel yeah i really want to go swat in a swat in our pakistan in punjab in punjab side in khyber pakhtunkhwa side okay so there is the mountains or very beautiful views there okay what would you prefer traveling with friends or traveling with family yeah i think uh, traveling with friends because with friends you are very openly enjoying with each other you can talk you can anything you can do but with family you are some conservative with sometimes all right uh, well uh, today is 15th of october 2023 my name is subhan and i am going to conduct your allt speaking module mock test so as you know that uh, in nlt speaking module we have four parts the first one is introduction second one is presentation third one is essay and the last one is picture description before they uh, we have some security checks so can you show me your passport please
or id password yeah okay like this okay that's fine uh well show me your room in 360 angle yeah sure all right that's fine okay now we will start uh from the first part introduction so can you tell me your full name yes my full name is muhammad daud tariq muhammad daud okay do you have any nickname no okay fine so where are you from i am from faisalabad pakistan okay what is your qualification yeah i have done my bachelor's in computer science okay from which university you have done your yeah. bachelor in computer science yeah i have done my bachelor in G from university faisalabad okay that's fine what do you do uh, currently uh, currently i am doing job in lahore as a social media manager and now i'm i have already applied in uh, uk universities for my master okay that's fine so in a social media manager what are your duties yeah basically my duty is to maintain the social media platforms like facebook twitter and manage the posts and different uh, form of my company all right that's fine what do you do in your free time yeah, usually i do uh, i do watch cricket uh, because i really uh, i also play cricket in my free time and also i watch cricket okay that's fine uh, well <clears throat> which course you have selected to study in uk yeah i i selected a masters in digital marketing that's fine what will be the duration of this course yeah the course duration will be one year okay uh, which university you have selected to study in uk yeah i have applied three universities first dbp university second university of chester third is uh, university of london okay that's fine what is the reason that you choose these universities in uk basically i choose these university because the initial deposit and the fees is very economical for international students so also university is also very good that's okay. why I, I choose these okay that's fine well what are your future plans yeah my future plan is that first i will go for my masters in uk then after completing my masters i will come back here in, in my country and will serve there all right that's fine well why you choose uk as your study destination yeah uk why i choose because i think uk is very top class top rank universities there and also first i really like these universities it has only one year master but if you say if you see the other countries there will be two years or three years masters so it's very good for me for one, completing my one year master there and come come back and serve my country all right that's fine thank you now we will move to the second